This tutorial forms part of our basic computer training course for beginners and will cover element 5 for those looking to qualify in the European Computer Driving Licence. The lesson is about files and folders. We have to compare our computer with any filing cabinet in the home or in the workplace to understand how we organise files and folders because it's the same principle. The work we create and want to store are called files. We can then put these files into folders with similar types of work. Our folders are either kept in larger folders or the relevant libraries for example documents, pictures and music. A file can be a text document a musical song, a video, any type of work or program that we've been using can create files. Now I have here a WordPad document which is a text file for jam sponge pudding. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this WordPad document which is a text file, create a folder for it to go in and then move another recipe into the same folder. So if we go up to the WordPad button and save our work we need to give it a name because by default it will be saved as document and it will be saved in Windows 7 in our documents library because Windows recognizes it as a text document as opposed to a picture or music file. So let's rename it Jam Sponge Pudding. And press the Save button, and that's now been saved. And it's now been saved into our Documents Library and you can see it there. And when we move our cursor over there we're told that it's a rich text format so it's a rich text file and it was saved or modified on the 22nd of June 2011 at 1720. The size of the file is 1.83 kilobytes. And if we look at the other files that we've got in our library we notice that we've actually got a couple of video clips and they are 86,800 kilobytes. So a text file is not very large, but a video file is. Right, I've also got chocolate peanut butter cheesecake in my documents library. And what we need to do, we're getting a few documents in our library and we need to organize them into more folders. So at the top of the page, so at the top is a button for new folder. If we click on there, we can create a new folder and by default Windows will call it new folder which we need to change otherwise we won't remember what the folder is. So I'm going to change that to recipes. Move my cursor away and just click that folder has been created and let's move our two recipes into that folder and I'm going to do it by just firstly a procedure called cutting and pasting and we're going to do this quite a bit in later tutorials but this is the first time we go down on the menu after right clicking to cut select cut by left clicking there and then over the top of recipes highlight it open a menu and then paste it. So click on paste and that has now been moved into our recipes. Now the other way we can do it is we go onto jam sponge pudding, highlight jam sponge pudding and then if we hold our cursor down with a left click we can drag it up to recipes 
uh, when it says move to recipes just release it and our jam sponge pudding will be moved into our recipes folder and just to demonstrate if we double click over recipes our recipes folder opens where it says it underneath the documents library and inside are our two recipes so that just demonstrates very quickly what files are and what folders are and as we go through the course you'll understand more and more about different files and folders thanks very much